Hi everyone, so I have a very special sort of three-in-one packed video for you guys today coming from my kitchen where I just made some really amazing vegan burritos. And it's been a while since I've done a burrito or a vegan burrito. I think this is gonna be my third or fourth on this channel, but I have some really co great concepts that I love to roll up in flour to taco or tacos or whatever. The bur burritos don't have to have carne asada or chicken to be impeccable and amazing. I'll link my other burrito videos down below if you'd love to check those out. This is going to be a Netflix dinner and a movie haul burrito special. And um, I don't have the video here with me, because it's on Netflix, but it's fantastic. If you've ever seen Tortilla Soup, that movie will make you so hungry, but it's also about family and friendships and finding love. So I think you'll like it and you can check it out on Netflix. I want to apologize firsthand for the plastic bags. I do know that they are bad for the um, environment, so I need to remember to take my cloth ones to the grocery. First off, I just hauled a little bit of the Happiness Inside Real Coconut Water. This is the all natural taste nirvana ingredients. This to me is the best coconut water your hard earned money can buy. I have not yet to see it in bulk, but I just wanted to share this with you that it's three, four dollar at Ralph's, which is a mainstay grocery store. Um, I tried to get back into Vita Coco after discovering this luscious love of my life, and I can't do it. Vita Coco is not as good as this and I read the ingredients it does have purees in it so and also the coconuts are not really made alike I haven't gotten a bad one of these I bought a Vito Coco this morning just because it was like a little easier to get that one I hated this stuff hated it hated, hated it I love the ethnic food section at grocery Brand. store super sweet whole kernel corn Hotel original diced tomatillos uh, salsa verde el pad Pato, I'm sorry, salsa de jalapeno. I got chickpeas, frijoles. I actually forgot I got those because I actually ended up accidentally getting the Ralph's brown refried beans. I got the 10 large flour tortilla, Red bell pepper. There you go. Those are all fresh whole chilies. I didn't want to buy a whole plant. I wanted those peppers tonight. Uh, holy guacamole. You get two vacuum packs. This is the classic. We have so much other spice going on. We don't need it from the guacamole. And they were out of it. Otherwise, I would have gone overboard and gotten that. Uh, then we picked up the Gardi Gardein, or however you want to say it. I'm sorry. I love to mispronounce things, apparently. And this is the lightly seasoned chicken skin. that have... Um, Sira, Serrano, Serrano chili. Sorry, these are whole Serrano like chili. You're leaving cheese out of the equation. You want some flavor? These I just got because they're a vegan Nutella, but I'll share these with you because um, I probably won't share them in another video because I rarely do breakfast videos. But this is Justin's chocolate hazelnut peanut butter, all natural. This is their new formula. So once again, this is kind of like a vegan Nutella. So that's really cool. So I got a couple packs for Veggie Beauty and a couple packs for myself. All right, so to get started, consider not using butter as an alternate. What you want is for that olive oil to heat, heat up, get all nice and hot. Sorry. You don't want to just have it get hot. Do a little off-heat cooking, if you will. I know this is not Food Network. So we're almost creating kind of like a, a Mexican casserole, if you will, kind of here in this pan. Reason being, because it just allows the flavors to sort of grow and enhance. You're sticking it all together anyway. If you're probably doing some form of a vegan taco party or a taco party <laughs> with vegan options, you obviously would want more of a spread. Now I just want to get some of those seeds out of there. So it's just kind of something that I wanted to share. Tomatoes are good for the heart. Now when you're buying burritos, Store. It's very typical to see the rice and beans already mixed together, like in, you know, like fast food or whatever. So that, that little thing I have going on over there is not atypical. Add as much or as little as you want. This part is optional. We're going to go ahead and chop up this chili. This is a lot of food and I like spice, so I'm going to add one more chili. In person, you could definitely see all the little pepper flakes. Let's add some fresh chili. Why don't we? I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm sorry about my ill kitchen tool. If you'd like to continue on, we're gonna go ahead and add the Guardian chicken scallopini. We're gonna hit, heat 
hit this up. We're gonna heat this up, and so only if you'd like to kind of continue making this a little bit more of a authentic pollo esque ish dish, if you will, vegan dish. I'm gonna go ahead and add some lime juice, and this will just help our guacamole not get uh, brown. And same thing with fresh whole avocados, obviously. Heat them up a little bit. If you're doing a taco bar, you could always buy the little um, tortilla holders at the store and some wax paper. Go ahead and dish up what we've created. So far, I'm gonna do small to medium sized burritos so we can have a couple and just really enjoy the flavor. A little bit of that faux chicken. So, you know, you're not deprived. You could also sneak in or bring in whatever you prefer. I think it's always best to be honest with friends and family. Bring in your vegan chicken and you won't feel or look left out. A Little bit of that guacamole, roll it up how you like. This is a sloppy burrito, obviously, but I just wanted to kind of squish it out and kind of show you what it's made of and how amazing it is. How could your family not want to at least try it? So thank you so much for watching, and I sincerely hope you appreciate this.